Hi, it's Kevin from Experimac with another 30 second tip. Maybe this one's gonna be a little bit longer, but you're gonna to wanna to watch it because it's how to create a new user on your computer. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go up to the Apple menu in the very top left corner of the screen and then click System Preferences. You'll see Users and Groups right here pops up. You're gonna click on that. Now you wanna click on this lock right here to make changes and you're gonna to have to enter the password that you set up originally for the computer. This is the one you use to log in. Now once that's open, see the little plus sign right here? Go ahead and click that. And now you get this new account window right here. Now a couple options here. You can create a standard account that allows someone to pretty much do whatever they need to do on their user, but it does not allow them to make any changes to your account. If you want to allow them to do that, you can change this to administrator. Uh, if you're setting something up for a child, you can do manage with parental controls or sharing only, which basically allows them to go online, and that's about it. So right now we're just gonna set up a standard user. You're gonna put in a full name, and then it'll automatically populate the account name. You can change this if you want, then you can put in a password. Right now I'm not gonna put in a password. So if I just click through this, I'm gonna put in nothing as the password hint, right? Create the user. Now, it noticed that there's no password. Are you sure you wanna do this? Yes, I am. Now you'll notice that this user is now in the list. So when you then go to log out, you'll now see this user come up as a possible user on your computer. Now, if you want to remove a user, you're gonna click that lock again. Of course, you have to put in your password. And all you have to do is highlight that user as long as you're in an administrator account and not in that user account, and just simply click the lock. Now, there are a couple of options here. If you wanna completely delete that user from your computer, you're gonna to wanna to choose delete the home folder. If you think that they might come back to using the computer later on, or you don't wanna lose anything in their home folder, you might wanna click this one, but we're gonna get rid of them entirely. Just click on delete user, and that's it, they're gone. Well, sorry that was a little bit longer than 30 seconds, but hopefully you learned something and you're gonna be able to use it on your computer. That's it, 30 second-ish.